Uh, good evening, everybody. Me, Rogers Brian here. Uh, we are about to uh, look at the uh, severe weather uh, coming in tomorrow. Uh, as you know, um, we have a slight risk of severe weather. Um, by doing that, um, uh, we are tracking the uh, severe weather by tomorrow. Uh, we're forecasting a large hail, damaging winds, uh, possibility oscillate a tornado or two. Um, so uh, we are watching that. Um, let me check the um, something here real quick. As you can hear, you can hear that dinging. That's that E I I E M bot. Um, another way to to uh, be alerted for. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Storm Prediction Center has issued a severe thunderstorm watch number one thirty. Let's take a quick look and see what it says here. Let's see where is it from? Um, that is up there in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is getting pounded with severe winds and tornadoes, probably. Um, so we have to watch that very carefully. Uh, another way uh, to be alerted for is the uh, the Midland WR120, and I also have the WR Midland WR100. Um, so right now, I have only two double A's in this. I'm waiting on for the other batteries to come in. So right now, I'm using chargeable batteries on WR100. Um, there we go. Snap that into place. Now let me show you this Midland WR120. This one right here is a very brand new one. As you can tell, you can set uh, language, set events, and stuff. Um, and also, you can, you can turn off the alerts that you don't want on this radio. But a Midland WR100 don't do that. So... Um, that's why I like this one uh, better than this. But this one's pretty good for outdoors only. But um, so that's why I have two weather radios. Uh, another one you can do is uh, set off the uh, bun beeps. You can turn them off. Uh, backlight you can turn them off. Leave them on normal or leave them on all the time. But I recommend not to turn them on during the daytime. Um, because it'll ruin your batteries down, uh, it'll ruin your electricity up real quick. Uh, but if you leave it on normal, it won't save your it will save your uh, uh, electricity. Um, most people are like, how how so? Well, if you just leave it on normal, it will save your power. Um, that's a good way. Um, so uh, that's why I leave mine on normal. But if you're outdoors and everything, completely turn them off. Turn the blue light backlight off um, completely if you're outdoors. That way, that way, uh, it'll save your batteries. Um, that's also good information now. But the channel, I like this feature. You can turn that radio up or down. And uh, the alert test is pretty loud on this. Uh, the uh, arrayos default as uh, voice alert mode. Uh, you do not want to put it on display. I recommend put it on between tone or voice only. So, but uh, uh, but one of the meteorologists recommends put it on voice alert. Um, Set location. Now this one is where we do our work. Um, most people want to set their rails for single county. I recommend it set between single, multiple, and any counties. But most people don't recommend any county at all. I don't know why, but they don't. So 
I recommend I set the radio between multiple and any county or single. Single is just for your county where you live, but I recommend multiple. So here's what it looks like. You go to that and that you will go to um, zero one and your county is already programmed in there. What you have to do is go to USA or um, uh, Canada. Um, all you got to go to now is uh, find your county. This happens to be Bastrop County, which is already programmed and locked. And um, you can program at least 25 on this radio. That goes for this one. Uh, the HH50 uh, VP. Uh, it only programs only nine counties only. HH50 doesn't. Most people don't recommend pocket radios, but I recommend them. Because these are only for in the house only. Um, these desktop models. Right here. Uh, these desktop models are only for indoors only, and the re out, uh, pocket radios are only used for outdoors only. Uh, if you're traveling or if you're storm chasing, I recommend to get a pocket weather radio. Um, another way you can also uh, uh, use it to use this as travel mode too, but I would not recommend that. Um, but uh, I do it sometimes, but I have quit doing it. <laughs> so, um, but that's the right weather radios. Um, I also recommend um, the uh, Accurate Weather Center. Uh, you can get it at the Home Depot for $100. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it's pretty good working order. But now, let me show you the... Uh, the display on this thing. Here's what the display looks like. And the sensor looks like this. Like that. Okay. So, um, that's what the uh, weather station looks like. Um, you can get your data. It's 501. It reads your heat index, wind chill, dew points, uh, pressure. Uh, rain gauge, uh, rain measurements, wind speed, wind gusts. Um, also has a clock, has a temperature, and humidity, and forecast. Um, uh, 12 to 48 hours forecast, and uh, which is nice to have. Um, I made a good deal on that. Um, but uh, well, I'll make a video on that. Uh, sometime early this week um another thing cool future is um you can have one of these now this right here goes to the window this is your sensor wire here and um now this other one now this goes to this one Okay, this goes to this. So, this is the sensor goes to that. Right there. Pretty cool. And it goes right up there. Up to the window. Just like that. And it will um, measure the temperature outside. outside. So, but uh, that's why I have those in here so I know what the temperature is outdoors. So, but uh, I don't recommend that one. Uh, this little bitty little thing with a wire. I don't trust that one because it keeps telling me H, 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 H all the time. Then I have to reset it every frequently. But anyway, but that's how it is. Um, let's see. I do believe that is um, about it, I think. 
Oh, and um, if you do want to get a wireless station, I recommend to get a clipboard and write your data down here and uh, and go over them when you're done. I recommend that. Um, let's see, anything else? Um, I think that's probably about it. Um, so anyway, but um, I just want to let y'all guys know that we're under a slight risk of severe thunderstorm uh, right now. Um, so we'll keep you updated and uh, make sure y'all follow this um, YouTube channel um, and everything else. So, um, if anything, um, have any questions or comments about the normal weather radios or the weather station, um, let me know and I will look at it as soon as these comments will come up. Click like, subscribe, and that's it.